I had to offload the memory chip there. So yeah, it's been very exciting. Um, solving all the dictionary one by one and just getting more of the revelation of God. Okay, For joy, joy, joy. That's the message I continue to get from the Lord. Rejoice, rejoice, rejoice. Joy, joy, joy. It's all for God's joy. So all of these phrases that we've had from the Lord, I'm just shooting from the hip. Okay, I could pull out my notes, but... Um, so all these phrases from the Lord, divide by five, okay, my footstool, my earth, um, uh, my pleasure, my ecstasy, all these words belong to God, okay, um, my glory, huge, huge, but I encourage you to do the math yourself and be shocked at the 25s, the 50s, the joys, the half joys, the fives that are cherries on top, um, because you exist for God's glory, he says, whom I have created for my glory, whom I have created for my pleasure, the Bible says. It's all fives. It's all joy. Um, my cocoa. Uh, these are words I've gotten from the Lord. Okay? And so every anytime I say my, you can substitute thy or the to get offsets of fives. It's just brilliant. So yesterday, for the first time in my life, the Lord, the Lord spoke to me, my roots, as I was looking at a tree in the park, filled with the Spirit, Waiting on the Lord, my roots. They're, whose roots are they? They're my roots. God talking. All the roots of all the trees. He says they're my trees. They're my roots. The roots, thy roots, my roots. Pure joy, just like my footstool. Like it's like it's purifies. Okay. God wants you to be rooted in joy. The roots on the inside of you are your veins. How do you how do you open up your veins and increase the blood flow? Theobroma cacao, God food, pure cocoa powder. Okay. My cocoa, my roots, pure joy, we can go on, okay? So we got a ton of words from the Lord yesterday that, that continue this pattern. Um, my legend, my story, those two words differ by joy perfectly, just like my water and my ice. Um, it's all coming together. These are first-time revelations for the human race. Um, and... Um, huge. The Lord is my shelter. Okay. The Lord is my shade. The Lord is my shield. And so it's just like, it's so satisfying to put these puzzle pieces together and you're like, ha, ah, it's all perfect fives. It's all for God's joy. Okay. Um, and, and you just, you can't resist just laying it all out. Okay. Um, oh, it's just, it's so satisfying. So LEs, according to the dictionary I was using, it was just a, a handheld one. Um, LEs are very special because my, or the plus an LE equals 50, which equals joy. Okay. Um, my plus an LE equals 55. But um, what's the last word? Lexicon. God says it's my lexicon. It's my lexicon. We say, oh, the lexicon, thy lexicon. It's my lexicon, God says. What is a lexicon? Well, Google search it for yourself. Okay, it's essentially a dictionary. It's essentially a word list for any given subject area, like a, a New Testament lexicon, a Greek lexicon. Okay. Um, but it's just so mathematically perfect. Okay. The lexicon, the L-E. Okay, equals joy, and then the rest equals more, more fives. And stunningly so, because the X, I, C, N, which do not divide by five, add perfectly to joy, which is five, which is 50. And you get the bonus O, which is king for fives. The lexicon. Like, you're just like, does God love words? Yeah, they are king. Words are king. Words control the universe. Okay, literally. The reason that everyone... it's. Someone, someone told me to do this. How did they do that? Using words. Who do the words belong to? God. Okay. Mm. Um, who is God? Three persons. God the Father, Jesus Christ the Son, the Holy Ghost. There is zero wisdom without that as your foundation. I repeat, zero wisdom. If you do not confess that, if you are a Muslim, if you are a false religionist, if you are a false, if you are an atheist, if you if you confess anything other than that fundamental truth, you are 100% owned by the devil. 
and God is calling you out. Truth sets you free. How are you owned by the devil? You believe lies. And or you are ignorant. It's, it's amazing to me how truth sets you free. Like Jesus said, it's like... Okay. Um, all right. Know the Lord. Okay. Even that phrase divides by five. I love words from God in real time. Um, and then you say, know ye the Lord. That goes higher. But um, God wants to talk to you. Okay. So once you've confessed, once you've confessed with all your heart that Jesus Christ is God, okay, you've asked him to forgive you for sinned sins. You believe that he died on the cross and rose from the grave the third day. That he is God. He is God. He's the second member of the triune God. Now, God has already come and live, in, live inside of you, okay? His Holy Spirit now lives inside of you. How do you hear the personal voice of God? How does he talk to you all the time? He talks to you in your head. Yes, sir. He talks to you in your head. That's how he talks to you. Almost never does God uh, make an audible voice that you hear through these things. No, God talks to you in your head, in your mind. That's how he talks to every believer up in here, okay? And um, the best way for you to get to know the personal voice of God is to spend, you spend large amounts of time in silent listening time. That's it. That, that's how it begins. That's how your relationship begins. Because it's you showing respect to God who knows everything and you know nothing. Like Solomon said, when you draw near to God, he, he effectively said, shut up and wait and let God do the talking. Okay? And that's what you do. You keep your mouth shut and you sit, you, you wait in silence. Okay? And the longer you wait, the more pleasure it is for you and God. There's so much we could say. I encourage you to watch even some Benny, some videos by Benny Hinn on this subject on waiting on the Lord. There's some very good teaching, and, and he says a lot of things that are that are very well said. But just be silent, okay, for as long as you need to, until a thought comes to your mind that you know is from God. You say, Derek, how will I know? You will know. Because God will make you know. Because he knows how to make you know. And you will just know that it's from God. And the more you practice that, the more confident you get in what thoughts that come up here are from God. Okay? And then you, you reach a level of confidence where you speak these things out and say to other people, if God leads you, God said this to me. God told me to do this. This is what God said to me. Okay. Um, and whether they receive it or not, or in that moment, or in the future the seed blossoms, that's up to God. Okay. Um, but God wants to talk to you. But the world needs to be quiet in order to hear the personal voice of God because it's an act of respect for God. Um, amazing. Okay. So, um, we're solving every word in the English dictionary. It's awesome. So, um, we solved the legend, the story for the first time yesterday. It's all pure fives, pure joy. Um, and a host of other awesome words. I could preach for a long time, and I might just do so. Um, there is 
much garbage in the world currently, but you don't have to be a part of it. And you don't have to even look at it. And you don't have to see it. Okay? Um, choose to spend time with God. Okay? Let God take care of God will lead you, okay? God will lead you personally, okay? But God is in charge, okay, of saving people. The Bible tells us that, okay? Um, Jesus said that no one can come to me except God the Father draws him. Period. And Jesus said himself, they shall all be taught by God. And therefore, whoever has heard from my Father, Jesus said, cometh unto me. Okay? So, God is in control of the whole world's state of mind. Period. But mark my words, in my lifetime, we will see many foolish things pass away. We will see many foolish ideas and practices and organizations and foods and companies perish. For our pleasure. For God's pleasure. Okay? We will see that. In my lifetime, we will. Okay. Um, the Bible says, if you do not seek God and you do not serve God, you will perish. Isn't it amazing? Make it your aim to know God alone and to delight in God alone. I had those words coming through my mind this morning, actually. I've been having a ton of words, again, that have fives at the dead center of them, like the word awareness, alertness, and on and on and on. Um, but the three words in a row, for God alone, they all have an O at the dead center. For God alone. It's like everything fundamentally is for God alone. It's all for Him. Okay? And it's all for His joy. Okay, based on that math. For God alone. All those O's at the dead center, the triple five. Okay? And um And that's why it's like you need to know the personal voice of God to you and reject everything else. Because you exist to please God. And everything else does not matter compared to that. Period. Okay. Um... Now, one thing I feel the Lord has been saying to me lately is whatever you do, do it until you're satisfied. You will know once you are satisfied. So, for example, the reason that I'm recording this video is because I must speak. I enjoy speaking. It is an act of satisfaction for me to speak. Okay? The Lord always satisfies himself. The Bible says whatever the Lord pleaseth, pleaseth that he doeth in the earth beneath and heaven above. Okay? And God satisfies his wrath. He satisfies every part of himself all the time, in my strong opinion. Okay? And so, as God's child, okay, you do whatever you do until you are satisfied. He who, and you are one spirit with the Lord, which is mind-blowing. So it's like, I will speak in this particular video until I feel satisfied. Until I feel like that's enough. Until I feel like I've spoken enough to be satisfied with what I have said. And so it is with you. Through your whole life, you do what you do until you feel satisfied. Now, when you are joined to the Lord and you are one spirit with him, it is mind-blowing. Because you are dancing with God. And God says, great, you satisfied yourself with that exercise with that thing awesome wasn't that terrific that was great wasn't it 
And amazingly, you satisfying yourself in that way will somehow, it may or may not be used to affect anyone else on planet Earth. This, this is a big thing that many people need to get over. This, this addiction to people pleasing, this addiction to like, oh, I, I, somehow I need to do something that like affects another human down here. Not necessarily. Okay. You exist for God's pleasure alone, first and foremost. I'm like, there is an infinite number of prayers and quiet times alone with God that have never touched another human being in the history of the universe. And it's, go, it's all for God's pleasure. That I spend time alone with him, that you spend a time alone with him. Oh yeah, father time. Okay, the people of the world, you know, <laughs> find all their pleasure in lunchtime. We find all our pleasure in father time. It's, it's, all, it's all beautiful fives, those phrases. Okay, God, I love lunchtime just as much as everyone. Lunchtime equals father time. But they're both beautiful five fests, those, those words. Just like springtime and all the rest of it. Okay. But it's like, what, whatever you do, do it until you're satisfied. Okay. I got I apologize, folks. Anyways, this hair is crazy. That's fine. <laughs> whatever. But it's like, um, it's, it's, it's amazing to me. It's a total amazement to me that... I am joined to the Lord. I am one spirit with him. And so my satisfaction is completely united with his satisfaction. That's a breathtaking statement to say. But it actually is the truth. It's like, when I'm satisfied talking here, apparently that's enough. Okay? It's amazing. God wants you to feel satisfied. That at the end of your day, you honestly say, no, I feel satisfied with what I did, what I saw, what I heard, what I recorded with my eyes and ears, what I ate, what I gave, what I partook of, what I experienced with God, with my dance with God, my date with God that never stops. And yeah, I am satisfied. I feel satisfied with what I said. I feel satisfied with what I did. And it's, it's all a feeling. You just, you know, instinctively in your spirit when you've had enough. And God has miraculously given us those instincts. It's just a marvel. You say, how, how can you know? Oh, you just know. It's just amazing. Okay. It's just like when you drink water at a fountain and your God-given body connected to your, the Holy Spirit tells you instantly when you've had enough water. It's just, it's just the gift of God. It's just so cool. So you just do what you do, okay? Um, but you keep trotting on. And I'm here to tell you that Gematria is the biggest revelation intellectually of God for the human race for all time, in my strong opinion. It is the official mechanism by which God takes the glory for every word and phrase and literature and in the history of the universe, okay? Just all the words, all the math, all the personal names of God contained in all of it, all the wisdom of God, all the messages of God, all the nature of God, that it's all for his joy, is just mathematically placed, invested in all of it. It's all there, okay? It's all there. There, there are secrets galore. Cocoa powder is a secret, okay? Cash in on it, cash in on it, drink it daily. Okay, natural, not the Dutch process stuff. I'm like, God has many secrets. He's got tons of them, but they're all real. I say to you, they're all real, and they're all true, and they're all yours. If you spend enough time with him, he will reveal to you more secrets and new secrets. And they are deep things, things that satisfy, because we know that depth satisfies. And God will reveal to you deep hidden gem after deep hidden gem and pluck 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 secret 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 yours 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 pleasure 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 joy 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 God, God's taking you up 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 just like coco 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 higher 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 okay and um okay I'm about to run a memory chip but it is all about your satisfaction in my opinion, which is very close, it's closely related to God's pleasure in you. And, okay. 
Everything is for God's pleasure, and God takes pleasure in your own satisfaction. Yada, yada, yada. Um, but you have to preach until you're satisfied. I'm like, there's so much I could preach against in this video. Just garbage, lies out there, dumb things.